Hello there, let's talk today about how to share your Arlo camera with family or friends. As you can see, I have my Arlo camera already working and I have two cell phones, right? This one that has the camera and this one that's the invitee, okay, that I'm going to share the camera with. So here I have the Arlo Secure app. I need to open and create an account. I still don't have an account here, so I'll show you how to do the process. And basically you just need to come here. You wanna share this camera, for example, you come here to this icon on the top. Okay, basically I'm here on devices, or if you're here on dashboard as well, you just can click here on the top. And here you see your profile name and you see here people. So you click people and this plus signal so you can share with somebody, okay? Click here and enter the information. So name, last name, email, the device you wanna share, and the access right. Let me just fill that out. There you go, I have the information, the name, last name, email, the camera, and allow access right. And I'm just gonna click here, send invite. There we go, now I have the pending invite. And here's the invitee phone. I'm gonna create an account. So I click here and I need to create an account. So basically that's just uh, the process. It just uh, fill here the first name, last name, email, and everything else. Okay, so let me just do that. So there you go, I have my first name, last name, email address, password, I create twice here. And here I just check this, keep me update and understand the terms and service, right? And I hit continue here. And now I get an email verification, right? So I come here to my computer and by using this email from the IV an NVT, the new email, I have here the information. I got an invitation from this user, which is this one, okay? Inviting me to be an NVT and have access to the camera. And I just need to click here, get it started and sign in, okay? So I just insert the email address. This is the invite email address. And there we go. Now I need to recognize my device, okay? So I come back here to the cell phone and I got this login request. I click here, approve. Just remember that here, I just need to have a regular account. There is nothing special, right? And I'm not an Arlo subscriber, okay? So I just confirm here, come back to the computer, then I get this new message after confirming here in the, in the cell phone. Then I click here, trust. And then I look at the cell phone again and I see here my email address and log back in, okay? So I just click here, log back in and I'm good to go, okay? So I'm here on the home dashboard and I just click here on devices and I see my camera just right there, okay? So working pretty fine, right? And remember guys, again, I don't have an Arlo subscription, okay? I'm not using it. And here I just create a regular account. I just start the app, create a regular account and I'm good to go. And that's the final result. As you can see, I have the camera working on both devices. There's a little bit of latency, but it's working on both devices at the same time, okay? So a quick recap here. I just come to my main cell phone here as the inviter. I click here on people, and then I select the camera that I wanna share. That's the one. Here, I already have this edit, right? But if I wanna do it again, I just click here, enter the name, email, and everything else, and I send the invitation. From this one, then invitee, I create a regular account, and I just receive an email, and I check from my computer, and then I just click to trust the device and everything else, the regular process, and I'm good to go. And then I have here on devices, the new camera working, and now they're working in both device at the same time, right? So I wanna come back here to the device, have the camera working here and here. So pretty easy, okay? The, just need to pay attention to the process, but it's pretty easy. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.